Hello, my name is Professor Anna Nakaris, and I'm the director of the Little Fireface Project. One topic we don't talk about very often in regards to slow lorises are their vocalizations. Many people think they're incredibly quiet and incredibly solitary. In fact, they're incredibly social and they make many different calls. And in this video, we're going to introduce you to the main ones. One of the main calls made by slow lorises is, is the whistle. They do this during the breeding season or breeding time. Uh, they do this to attract mates and they also do it in a territorial context. A second call made by slow lorises is a pant or pant growl. And this can sound a little bit like a stuck vacuum cleaner and they make it when they're upset or when they're fighting. Another sound made by the slow loris in aggressive context is a chitter. Uh, this is when they're also agitated or annoyed and a chitter can also be made by a parent to its offspring who's being particularly bothersome. Lorises also make some calls when they're very, very upset. If they're being caught or harassed by a predator, generally in my experience, it's a human, they may squeal or they even may make an alarm call that is very, very sad and very terrifying. And I've even heard this sound when a loris was being electrocuted on a live wire, which happens sadly very frequently. Infant lorises also make a unique call called a zik call. And they do this with a contact to their mother who may make a click call in reply. And there's another unique call made by the slow loris, which we have called the crow call. That sounds just like a crow cawing. And until now, it's only been heard in the Sumatran loris, Nyctisibus hillary. A final call that is really exciting that we have identified in the Javan slow loris is one that you cannot hear yourself as a human. It is pure ultrasound at 46 kilohertz, and we have called it the doublet click. Javan slow lorises live in family groups of up to two parents and four offspring, and this group can make this call hundreds of times per night, up to 200 meters away, and they use it to keep in contact with other family members. So I hope this video has allowed you to see that lorises are not so solitary after all, and like other primates, they have a complex vocal repertoire. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more videos and follow us at Little Fireface on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, etc. Thank you very much.